decision to send Yusaku Meizawa, and I'm sure I butchered his name, uh, to the moon. In Texas on September 18th, they announced that he would be the first private citizen to travel to the moon aboard SpaceX's Big Falcon rocket. In the announcement, uh, I don't know if some of you remember, I, it wasn't in my time, 56 years ago that John F. Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon. And in their announcement, um, Meizawa said, and I'm going to quote, he said, I choose to go to the moon. At the same time, I do not want to have such a fantastic experience by myself. I want to share these experiences with as many people as possible. So that is why I choose to go to the moon. I choose to go to the moon with artists. Uh, they went on to say that some of these artists were going to include a film director, painter, dancer, novelist, musician, fashion designer, sculptor, photographer, architect. So all different types of artists would go on this trip with him. Um, Musk's response to this said that this is believing in the future and that the future will be better than the past. They're going to call this endeavor hashtag Dear Moon. Uh, so I had a few questions when I was reading this and I did a little more research. Uh, the first one was, who is this guy? Who is Yusaku Meizawa? Um, also, why is Elon Musk agreeing to send him to the moon? How will they get there, and will this actually happen, or is this just news? So, uh, to answer the first question, who who is this guy? Um, he is the 18th richest person in Japan. He's head of the e-commerce company called Start Today, uh, which is actually worth $12 billion. So, that kind of leads us into the next one. Why is Elon Musk sending him to the moon? Uh, the answer is pretty simple. Money. Um, Musk wouldn't say how much he offered him, but apparently it was enough to cover the cost of the trip for him and all of the artists that he wanted to bring with him. Uh, and it was also large enough to cover some of the material effect um, for the cost and development of the Big Falcon rocket. Uh, it makes a difference. And he went on to say that he put his money where his mouth is. So I think that's what put this into effect. So next would be... How will he get there? Um, like I said, on on SpaceX's big Falcon rocket. Uh, the rocket is an estimated five billion dollar rocket. Uh, it hasn't been built yet. Uh, Musk updated plans and renderings on it on Monday and released some of that information. Um, it's going to be as tall as a 35 story building and have two pieces: a booster rocket and a spaceship that'll push it into orbit. This spaceship will supposedly have enough room for about 100 passengers and also 150 tons worth of people and supplies. Uh, he also said that this, he plans on sending the big Falcon rocket uh, to Mars in 2022 before Meizawa takes his trip to the moon. Uh, eventually he hopes to give private moon tourism, make that a thing of the future. Uh, but there's a lot of questions whether this will actually happen or not. Uh, and also, they went into discussing the rigorous training that you have to go through because the human body is just not made to function in microgravity. And so those are some questions that we have to ask. Um, a couple people that responded to this were NASA veteran Scott Kelly. Uh, he announced and also volunteered to join the trip, which could be helpful since Kelly spent a total of 520 days in space. Uh, so that could be a good person to have with you on your trip. Uh, Musk even also said that he is considering going on the trip as well, but he hasn't decided yet. Uh, so I'm interested to see uh, not only if this pans out, but also um, how SpaceX investors respond in stock as this progresses and, and we see these planes actually go into action. So kind of leads me to my two questions to you guys. Uh, the first one is, is this real? Uh, do you think it'll actually pan out and happen? And if so, when do you think that we could see this happen? Uh, and also my second question is, do you think that moon tourism will be a common trend in the future? And will it be affordable to those less than billionaires? Uh, so I'm interested in seeing who my optimists are and 
the answers to your questions, I encourage you to to get creative with these responses uh, and and also um, maybe hear a little bit of how you see this affecting SpaceX's business. Uh, so thanks for listening. I put the links below for you guys to click on if you wanted to read the stories. There's been several articles out there about this. Um, so thanks. Enjoy.